Severe weather warnings are issued by the National Weather Service office in North Webster. They use a list of criteria to figure out what actions to take. Even though we have satellites and radar, spotters and chasers play a crucial role in that process. But what's the difference between the two? There are a lot of similarities between what a spotter does and what a chaser does. The most similar part is that we're both out in the field looking for severe weather. What's different is the goal. Spotters are people in communities that are trained to keep an eye on the weather and to let the, the local police department, the National Weather Service know, you know, when it's time to sound the warning, what you're seeing. When you're a chaser, you're going out, you're finding the storm and you're, you know, maybe you're photographing it or you're doing some kind of scientific uh, data collection on it. The National Weather Service holds several spotter training events in our area, typically during the first few months of the year. Those who attend have a genuine interest in weather and protecting their community. I was a, a child of the Palm Sunday tornadoes and my parents sent us to bed. Um, and then woke up the next morning and found out, you know, of all the damage. And that always bothered me that there wasn't anybody to watch out. So I think that's what made me more aware. I was in the derecho we had a couple years ago. Now, that was kind of startling. Many spotters go years without ever seeing anything worth reporting. And they don't really care. Why? Because they're there to protect their communities. Some of the topics covered in storm spotter training include cloud identification, hail estimation, and of course, everything about tornadoes. The training stresses how to report. Spotters need to include time, event, and location. Oh, the forming of the clouds gives you an idea what you're looking at, what you're looking for. We'll get reports of funnel clouds that are just uh, normal clouds. They're not really anything severe. Uh, so we wanted to teach people how to be able to identify those features accurately. Storm chasing should be left to the experts, but anyone can be a storm spotter. All you really need to be a spotter is a good pair of eyes, some knowledge, and a way to communicate with the National Weather Service. There's always a need for storm spotters. Even if you missed spotter training this spring, you'll find a link to an online course and more on Wayne.com.